Welcome back, nerds. Got a video here for you. I'm in my nerd outfit. Alright, we'll get straight to this. I'm going to figure this out. Alright, first things first. The workbench. Alright, um, depending on the server you're on, mine you'll be able to find this or build it. So let's start with how you can build it. Four sticks, wire, scroll, I shouldn't have moved. That was a bad idea. Alright. So, based on the server, you'll be able to find the kits and or craft it. Alright, you can see we've got the same thing over here. Alright. Let's get this thing out of the way. Alright. First things first. Put the bench in your hand. You're not going to be able to place it until you add these two things. Helping hands, soldering iron. Helping hands. And soldering iron is actually in a box. It's kind of weird. Alright. Now, you're going to see nothing but a hologram. We're going to fix that. I hope I put my materials close enough. Yeah. Okay. Metal sheets. Why it's an odd number of 13, but whatever. 13 planks. Alright. I should have put these closer. Whatever. Put your battery in. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not yet. Sorry, right. we'll drop that there. Laptop. Okay. Card reader. Well, door reader. However you want to say it. Alright. And wire. And last thing is bolts. And I got those close by. Okay, you got everything you need to craft it. It's a lot. <laughs> it really is a lot. I think I got a hammer over here. I oh, know it's in my inventory. Take a hammer, hold F to assemble. Yeah. It's actually a pretty cool looking bench. I like it. Alright. Open your drawer over here so you can see the items you can put in it. Battery, flux, solder, and then the microchip, which I'll go over what the microchip's for. Oh, it made noise, powering up. Isn't that cool? Alright. That there. I think that will do it. Uh, yeah. And of course you can see these go down as you use it. Alright, that's all the materials except for this, but we're going to throw it in here. you got to unpack it first. This is a yellow. There's different tiers for this. Put your chip in there. Close the drawer. Alright, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, on my server, I'm going to make them spawn, the keys spawn ready to go. Rare-ish, of course. Rarer by color, deer. 
Um, so on my server, it's just going to spawn one that's you don't have to take to the bench. You can use it, but you can bring it back after using it. It'll look like this once used, and reprogram it and put a chip in it. All right. There's an option to spawn these. You can see it says chip is good. It just needs to be programmed. You don't have to put the chip in it. And this one just needs activated. Now, I'm not going to spawn these because it just makes more confusion, more spawns. It's easier to control loot. Just make it simple. Use the bench to reprogram the chip you find. Um, is it too much? Too easy? I would say not. Considering what it takes to build this and the materials to redo it. So I don't see a problem with it. So let's start with key that you already use, that's the key, attach the key card. All right. Uh, there we go. Remove the chip that's burnt out in it because it was already used. Hold. Yes, I pause on this too, guys. I'm still piecing all this together. We'll get there. Okay. Now install the new chip. Now just so you know, I'll pause it for a second. It's this. Alright. That's just an extra one I got thrown in there. And you can see it says yellow. Alright. So that's going to put the new chip in it. Remove the key card. It's in hand. You gotta program it now. Put it in there. Look at your laptop. Program the chip. This is some really nerd stuff, man. Really nerd. <laughs> Move key card. There you go. Wait. Uh, oh, I gotta activate it still. Wow. Just left click. There we go. Now, this is gonna be based on server. You can set these uses. Obviously, I'm just gonna make it one. So that, that one is ready to go. And as you can see, it used that chip. Alright. That, oh, okay, that's a destroyed one. That was an extra. Alright, now I think these other two cards don't need a chip, but let's put this in there. Anyhow. You can see how much it used just for one. It uses quite a bit. But this is meant to be for a rare use for obvious reasons. Alright, so no data, chip seems good, just needs to be programmed. So we're going to put it in hand. Program it. Again, for you guys on the server, you won't be doing these steps. Well, you'll be doing them, just not in the way I'm doing them right now. Alright, same thing. Activate. Doesn't matter where you point. Yep, see, ready to go. And this one looks like it just needs activated. Yep. Now we have three working keys. And you can see the last two didn't use a chip because it wasn't a chip. One just needed programmed, the other one just needed activated. That's it. Alright. Now 
that's pretty much all there is to it um, for you guys on this server uh, these items will spawn in the game they will not be plentiful for good reason it's more or less set for you find the key find the crate you get a lot of loot so I'm not gonna make these where everybody can find it really quickly you're gonna have to earn it you're gonna have to work for it guys okay okay and the burnout chip by the way you can just trash throw it in the trash barrel please don't throw it on the ground on all servers a server earners owners can't stand that all you're doing is lagging your server down okay that's all there is to it so if this chip I'm gonna we'll go over it one more time I can't do the steps because this one isn't used you would place it there pull out the old burnout chip which is this basically then it's going to put in the new one which is in the when you open the drawer then you're going to program it put it in there program it on the laptop pull it back out of there point anywhere on the desk activate that's all there is to it alright guys I appreciate you watching later